grab your fam and grab some leaves because it's time for family art making. What's up Reeling fam? It's Callie and today we're venturing into the great outdoors for our project. We're going to be doing a little something called a leaf rubbing, where you put a leaf underneath a piece of paper and then rub the crayon over it. Then the leaf shape and its lines will suddenly appear in color as you color over it. However, that's basic. And we're a step up from just rubbing crayons. I mean, we're going to rub crayons, but we are making a watercolor resist leaf rubbing. A watercolor resist is made when you mark your paper with something that will repel the watercolor before you put it down. So for our project, we'll be making designs with a white crayon and then painting over it with watercolor. Once you start painting it with all the different colors, whatever you drew in white is going to appear. And what we'll be doing with the white crayon is the leaf rubbings. But first, let me tell you about a really cool type of tree that we have at the Ringling that inspired this project. Yes, a tree inspired this project. Like I said, I was inspired by a tree for this project, which sounds weird, but this tree is a piece of art made by nature. It's a rainbow eucalyptus tree. Yes, rainbow eucalyptus tree. This tree gets its nickname from its distinctly colored bark, which ranges in color from bright green to gray. This unique bark is formed because the tree sheds its dark outer bark throughout the year and reveals patches of fresh bright green bark underneath. And as the green bark ages, it changes colors from orange to red and finally a light gray brown when the tree will start to shed again. So it ends up having a rainbow effect. This rainbow friend is on our grounds at the Ringling. You can see it from the sidewalk you use to get from the visitor's pavilion to the Cotazon. And it's on the left side, a little bit past the historic circus museum. Now that we've got that settled, let's get to making some art of our own. For this project, you will need some paper, a paintbrush, watercolor paint in various colors, water, of course, a paper towel, a white crayon with the paper taken off, and finally some leaves of different shapes and sizes. Now listen friends, don't go ripping off leaves from random plants, okay? If you see something in a garden or in someone else's property, you need to ask permission before you just start stealing leaves from whoever owns that garden. Even if it's at your own house, you need to ask somebody before you take any of the leaves. Also, some plants can make you very, very itchy. So grab a grown-up and make sure that that plant that you want to use is okay to touch. Be careful, all right? Watch it. Anyway, back to the art. When you have your legally acquired leaves, place them on the table in a nice design or pattern. I went with a sort of circular design and kept all my leaves close together in the middle of what will be the paper. Then, you place your paper on top of the leaves. Now hold down that paper, or you could tape it like I ended up doing. Grab your white crayon and turn it on its side and begin rubbing over the paper. You can bear down pretty hard to get all the details from the leaves. It will be hard to see your progress since the crayon is white, but you have to trust me that it'll all work out just fine. Next, start painting the paper however you like. As you paint, the white leaf rubbings will be revealed. I encourage you to use multiple different colors to get the best result. I went for a kind of rainbow effect. I tried to blend the colors together to make it look like each color is flowing into the next one. But you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. Pick your favorite colors, maybe pick co colors that you saw on the leaves. Really, as always, it is up to you. Here's my finished watercolor resist leaf rubbing. Quite the mouthful that name is, but I love the way this turned out and I would love to see yours too. You can send us a picture over at our Family Programs Facebook page, you can direct message us at the Ringlings Facebook page, or you can send us an email at education at ringling.org. 
If you do, let us know if it's okay to share it on social media so all of our Ringling fam can see what you've made. I also have a few important announcements before this video ends, so don't click away. Don't, don't even think about it. I've got important stuff to say. You need to hear it. So don't click away. Have you ever wanted your art to be displayed at the Ringling? Well now you can! We're having a special exhibition in our community gallery to show artwork that you all have made with us during the summer and the beginning of fall. If you've done an art project for FAM, Roar, 40 Carats, Quick Crafts, or if you just did one of our Learn From Home activities on the website on your own, you can send that art to the museum to be on display. Head over to ringling.org slash learnfromhome and at the top of the page there's a post saying calling all families. Click that red learn more button to find out how you can get your art submitted. If you're local and feel comfortable bringing it to the Ringling, you can go over to the visitors pavilion, the main building across from the parking lot where you buy your tickets, come through those sliding glass doors and turn left. You will see a bright blue wagon that says community gallery drop off. Drop your artwork in that wagon, fill out the little form, and you'll receive an email confirmation soon. You can also mail it in if you'd rather, and you can find that info on the website. The deadline is September 25th, so get your art in ASAP. Also, if you or someone you know has a toddler, we have a program called Roar that takes place every Tuesday and Thursday via Facebook Live on our Family Programs Facebook page. Come read a book, make some art, hang out with Reuben the Lion. Next week, September 8th and September 10th, we're having an extra special Roar. We're having a tea party, so don't miss out on that. Join us on Facebook Live next Tuesday or Thursday to join in the fun. That's all I have for this fam, so I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye!